Ocidax was a genus that was already known, the bone-eating worms. And the Mucofloris, we named it uh, because it had this flower-like appearance. And actually the flower, floris is flower in uh, Latin, and muco means basically snot, mucus. And they have these little mucus tubes, and they sit on the whalebone and project these flower-like gills, effectively, out into the water column to get oxygen. It has this root structure, which actually bores into the bone, and the roots are filled with some kind of bacteria. We think that these bacteria are able to assist, essentially, in extracting the energy from the whale bones. One of the most astonishing things is, is how these animals have evolved. If you think just how isolated and dispersed most of these whale remains are, Ocidax has evolved quite an interesting reproductive strategy. The males never develop, apparently, beyond the sort of larval stage. And they sit, essentially, on the side of the females. And as the females release eggs into the water column, they get fertilised by these uh, dwarf males, we call them. But it's an extreme example of males being reduced to, to simply a, a bag of sperm sitting on the side of the female. The deep ocean is not just a barren, monotonous plain of bacteria, but it's actually a place where evolution in quite complex organisms has happened and is probably still happening in response to these unusual habitats which are available.